Hello everybody, Lord X is here, and welcome back to Resident Evil Revelations. Uh, not much to say about the last episode, we explored further into the Queen Zenobia, the creepy ship we're stuck on with uh, Jill Valentine and her partner Parker. Uh, we discovered that Chris and Jessica, I think it was, uh, were up in the mountains somewhere in Europe. It was very, very vague on the details. And, uh, yeah, Jill and Parker were led into a trap on the Queen Zenobia. Fought some monsters, not very well. Accuracy was a bit crap. Um, yeah, and just uh, got a sense of story. And then at the end of that, I believe we were uh, co-opted in a room with some young ginger-haired-looking freak. <laughs> um, and that's where the episode ended. So... Probably more of me running around today, um, not being able to find where to go because of puzzles and stuff that Resident Evil does so well that I don't do so well. Uh, also got a few hints from a friend earlier on about there is a dodge mechanic in the game, I'm not going to be very good at it, and also you can uh, hold down the X button after stabbing or stunning an enemy in order to actually give a more powerful melee attack, so that'll be helpful. But apart from that, uh, nothing much more to say. Let's get in to Resident Evil Revelations. Resident Evil Revelations. Resident Evil Revelations. Jesus. No one could have lived through that. And stories of their resurrection are true. Then the setup that got Jill and Parker, it was all... <laughs> it's a trap! Yeah. Guaranteed. Ryan, we'll go after Jill and Parker. Make your way to the Mediterranean. Where? Damn it. Bastard took all my weapons. Can you reach HQ? No. Comms are as it seems. We'll be stuck here. Jill! Okay, so here we go, guys, getting into episode three called Ghosts of Veltro. So, uh, yeah, let's do this. Still hurting, Cadet? No. I can still fight. That's the spirit. It's over. The city is finished. <sighs> oh shit, we're playing in Terra Grecia. Okay, well, guess we're grabbing some ammo then. Jessica, Parker, come in. The facility has been breached. We're closing shop. Prepare to go home. Split up and get to the helipad on the roof. That's important. Okay, you creepy looking old bastard. Make sure they reach the heliport. SAA is pulled out. I want you to know that the FBC is making a huge mistake. Okay. We have been at war for three weeks in an attempt to handle this matter. There have been rescues, there have been losses. Too many. But any further delays would simply cripple our cause. Surely you can understand that. I'm afraid I cannot. <clears throat> Obliterating the site by satellite is only a quick fix. We could lose crucial evidence. Use of the satellite has already been approved. We can clean up this mess. 
guess you've thought of everything. Even the FBC may not be able to cover its tracks on this one. Let the heavens scorch the earth with justice. These unilateral solutions of yours will only create a new Veltro. Perhaps a dozen of them. Yes, there's the rub. Men like us can exist thanks to groups like that. And he'll just let all those people die. Are you finished now, Director O'Brien? Everyone, you have your orders. Move into position. Raven, with me. <clears throat> yes, sir. Okay, so those guys have some beef. And we're now working for O'Brien, so this is before we were working with O'Brien. Okay. It's Mosey. Oh, shit, the bed. You think this is it? Oh, God, there's... That's a hunter. I remember those fucking things. Kill all the enemies. <clears throat> How the fuck did she get down there so quickly? Here they come. Open fire! We want to make it out of here. It's gotta be. After this, we head for the chopper. Ow. They dissolve as well. Lovely. <clears throat> Fuck you, monster. My accuracy is very poor. Ooh. Shit, they're everywhere. Jessica, what are you waiting for? Well, four ammo left, guys. <clears throat> awesome. <clears throat> Okay, so getting the fuck out of here. Oh, that's how dodge works then. <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to try and be a bit more sparing with this. Okay, he fucked off. That helps. Okay, let's reload this. Let's carry on. Oh, hello. This can work. In which way? Where did that come from? Behind us. Yeah, unfortunately, only uh, a few slugs in that. I should have got closer. Lockers. All of the lockers. 
We have a grenade. Hang on ammo, which I'll change back to because conserving everything I can. Some more machine gun ammo, brilliant. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. So, what do you think about that O'Brien guy? BSAA director? It's not my type. <laughs> That's not what I meant. I think he's in the right. He needs to stand up to General Morgan. Yeah, I agree. I think being in the FBC is not your moral compass. You sound just like him. Still, I wouldn't mind being on the right side of the fight. Okay, so they both in agreement that O'Brien's right. Nice. It's Mosey. There's got to be a faster run button than this. Stairs, let's go. Yep, should have known that was going to happen. They're going to be chasing us. Get through. Going to need that and that. Beautiful. <clears throat> this is going to be a ship parade in here. That did nothing. Nice. Okay, is there ammo or items? Okay, change back to this. Aha, beautiful, a shotty ammo. Some more handgun ammo. Beautiful, beautiful. Moving on. Okay. the bed oh they just give us time to open this that's nice of them she has got the most plastic face I've ever seen oh god this is an open place uh, we've got to wait for the elevator to come down, of course we have. Damn, come on. They're almost here. They're here. I think they're here for you. It's because you're a flirt. Sorry, I don't think terrible monsters. Ow, bitch. Jesus. Missed, bitch. Alright, okay. Calling this fucker out. Ow. Back the fuck up. Open up. Motherfucker. Slowest elevator in existence. Mm. 
Mist. Apparently I've become better at dodging in my time here, so... Thanks fuck for that. Get in, get in, get in, get in! Get in the elevator. Ah, oh, they're in the elevator. Oh, fuck's sake. Jesus. Okay, so a little intense. Not my best commentary ever, not gonna lie. Oh, for fuck's sake. Jesus, I thought it was gonna stop again. Yeah, well, we're fine. But that was crazy. I can't believe Morgan decided to fry the city with the solar energy satellite. Raccoon City all over again. Yes. Off the face of the earth. By tomorrow morning, Terra Grigia will be just a name in a history book. Oh, a reference to Raccoon City there, what the US government done while nuking it. We did do everything we <coughs> could, right? I hope we did. No, we didn't die. Well, just don't forget about that lobster dinner you owe me. <laughs> when have I ever gone back on my work? He doesn't know you shit, darling. No, unless you're gonna put out, but then again, you look like you would. Okay, yeah, let's get the fuck out. <clears throat> okay, ladies first. Yeah, fuck that. She's plastic as fuck. She don't go first. Regions. No more. We came to help, but did nothing. <clears throat> okay, so that's the end of that part. And uh, see the previous jobs that Parker and Jessica had in the FBC. Uh, what the fuck costume was that she was wearing? That was retarded. Um, anyway, I'm gonna save. Okay, good, good. Right, we'll carry on and hopefully we get back to Jill and, uh, Jill and Parker on the ship. A 
is the FBC doing here? <laughs> answer me, Raymond. I don't have to answer anything. It's... You have no authority over this. There's no time to fight. We've got to... Give it a rest. I don't even know why you're here or who you're fighting. Raymond, stop right there. Nothing will change unless you get your hands dirty. So the FBC is on this ship, too. What's going on here? We're operating without any intel. We need to search this ship for answers. Not that I relish the idea. Okay, so strong words and strong actions from the red-headed stepchild there. Uh, guy that used to work with the FBC with uh, Parker and the other thing. What's her face? Ooh. Handprint. I earned a trophy for that called First Victim. It's quite cool. Was it the first victim? Okay, so I only have my pistol right now and a knife. Guess we're following you then, sir. Uh, hang on, I'm always handy. Herbs. There's indeed an elevator, but I don't necessarily want to use that yet. I want to have a little look see. Uh, the door here. There's one of you there. Ow. Missed. Nice. Kind of getting used to that dodging thing. It's actually not too bad. You kind of have to do that into the enemy. It's a bit of a jank, but hey. What's in here? Okay. Picked up the helm key. Awesome. Good thing we didn't go back up in that elevator. What have we got here? Hang on ammo. Can't pick up any more. We like some decoys. Definitely. And shotgun shells. Also, looking back from my previous video, I figured out how to upgrade my weapons. Need the card for the card reader. Um, yeah, I was being a doof. It told me right before I'd done it, and I was like, oh, where is the upgrade? You have to just press square when you get to one of those chests. So, <coughs> mm, that's the thing. And it just so happens to be a helm door here. Well, look at that. Okay. More handgun ammo. Okay. Gonna bet you completely that this person is disfigured. Do it. Nice. Pleasant. How horrible. It must have been a painful death. No shit. And he ain't coming back. Oh, and we know what this is, or we don't necessarily know what this is, but there was a shotgun earlier in the game, upstairs, that uh, can only be removed by putting a circular-shaped object into the, the thing. What are you looking at, Parker? Ah, you picked up an upper interior map. <clears throat> we should find an emergency communication room if we go through the hall. Oh, cool. That's why you were staring retardedly at that, Parker. Okay. Cool, cool. So we've got a, a few bits in our inventory now. And the plate works as a key item, so it's stored separately, so it's not taking up space. Good. We should go to the emergency communication room. Maybe try to contact HQ. Okay, let's, let's do that. Do we do that by going back upstairs? No, we do not. <clears throat> Guess we go back into onto the bridge then. It's the only other way. All right, we got to find Raymond. How do you know him? I used to work with him. Let's leave it at that. What's this? Handgun ammo case. 
Increase your ammo capacity. Ah, oh, well, I'm fucking going back downstairs and picking up all the ammo. Sorry for the backtracking, guys. Should have seen that on my uh, way through. Try that one more time. There's only a few bits of ammo down here anyway. Six in here, I think, and 15 in the other room. <clears throat> oh, four. Missed that as well. Upgrade kit. Jesus. What the fuck, Exus? Get your shit together. Okay, and 15 in here on... Not on there, but let's look at this. Because I missed this as well. Discarded message. Oh, God, please help me. This can't be happening. Don't leave me to die in this hell. I'm trapped here. There's monsters here. Real ones. Everyone's dead or dying. There are no survivors. Shit, we're all going to die. Pleasant. Give me the ammo. Okay, there wasn't any more in here, was there? And I guess it was that guy's note. Nope, nothing. So yeah, we now hold... We can now hold 50 ammo instead of 30. It's a little bit better. Right, so... In this room... Okay. The only way back out was this door, obviously. Lead us back up. Oh, hello. Ow, fucker. Okay, I thought I was getting used to that, but clearly not. Good. Could not dodge that for some reason. Has to be at exactly the right time, supposedly. There's not going to be anything in these lockers because we've already emptied them out. Okay, so this elevator work. It does. Now we're going back. Upper cabins, lower cabins. Hmm. Oh, it's interesting. I only had one before. Let's try upper cabins. Pretty sure we came from the lower cabins. Could be wrong. Or did I come from here? I'm sure we'll find out. Oh! <coughs> I have been here before. I know where room 303 is, but we'll use the helm key. Illegal custom parts that somehow are in a gold case, which is better than the custom parts in a in a silver case. So cool as fuck. What does this say? No found in room three or three. <clears throat> what the hell is going on? Monsters are crawling all over the ship. They're tearing it to pieces. I've never seen monsters like this. Their movements are stiff, stilted. But it's all it's all over if they get hold of you. What do you mean you've never seen monsters like this? I'd hope you've never seen monsters in general. Um, those piece of shit monsters ate my friend, Hassan. Bastards. Well, let's just uh, take a moment to be silent for Hassan. Nat. Uh, I used my gun to frighten them off, giving me getting, giving me time to get the hell out of there. The bullet went straight through the, its arm. Thank God these monsters have bones like an old woman. Uh, there's nowhere left to run now. Damn monsters twisted my leg good. Hell, I've run out of ammo too. God only knows what I'm go how I'm going to survive this. I'm guessing the answer, sir, is you did not. Sir and or madam. Okay, so other than picking up <coughs> that illegal customization kit, nothing else of value in here. Shit, what did I walk into? Ow! How about no? Yeah, we're doing this. Yeah, get down. Oh. Good. Ah, oh, this is the room I was in. Okay, there was absolutely no need to come back out in here. This is the room Jill started in. Could have left that room alone forever. 
This is where we fought the fucking nasty big one. Oh shit. I don't think there's any need to come back in here either, so I'm going back out. Them to toilets. Over that one, there's one down there. One of the two. Doesn't matter. I'm out here. Came past this card reader on the wall. Can't do anything with that yet. Come on, what was this side? It's another room. Ah! We do this. Yes, you can have the, in the quest inserted. Thanking you. Oh, shit, the bed. Well, that was nice and easy. Very nice shotgun. We'll save you for later. Are you just waiting in there for me to take that shotgun? Silly monster. Okay. Did we come this way? Here's the question. Can't remember. Even with a map up here, I'm not going to be great on directions. Oh, yeah, I remember coming this way. And here's where we want to go down in... Oh, shit, the bed. What the hell are you? Oh, fuck me. You got a projectile arm, you piece of shit. Yeah, you can fuck all the way off. Oh, two headshots, fair enough. Fucking ugly ass thing that was. What is Parker shooting at? Oh, shit's down there. There's one of them down there. I'm going down. Oh, that's dead. I was say I'm going down after it. They're big old nasty ones, them. Okay. So much for not using any ammo. Okay, so... Things... Do you come back? That's the anchor door. I have not got the anchor key. Uh, what key do I? This is the is this the helm key? This is the helm key. It's cool as fuck. It's a really elaborate door. Okay, a another really elaborate door. Really fucking slow opening door. Any time you want. Oh shit, the bed. Now, this is what I call a cruise ship. It's like an opera house in here. Fucking so, right. This emergency communication room. Sweet Jesus. Right, so there's a door here. God. Maybe before I go off exploring too much. I should actually go down onto the main floor. There might be like a bad guy reveal or something. This is pretty intense. This is a fucking intense room. Okay. Hello. Note here. Note left in front of emergency communications room. It's emergency communication room. No one gets in without my permission and not without my key. If you want it, come find me in the usual spot on the promenade deck. Your comms officer. There's a message scrawled underneath. This is crap. The ship is crawling with freaks and monsters. I'm going to, I'm going to the promenade because at least I can find food there. Anyone who's still alive, meet me up there. Uh, you know where to find me. I'm not going out like that. I can promise you that. I hope I'm not the only survivor. Your friendly neighborhood comms officer. Promenade deck is next to the hall. Let's go. Next to the what? Okay, it's telling me where to go. It's showing me up on my map, so it's through this bottom door. Still the fuck. All of the fucks. Fucking big old elevator, escalator. Sorry, elevator. There. There is doors all over the fucking show here. Actually, there's not that many. There's that one. There's one over there. There's the one in this direction. Oh, there looks like there might be. 
fucking big old demonic looking guy at five o'clock in the middle. It's good, it's good. And there is one over here as well, okay. Okay, well that's good. Progress has been made. But, however, I've run out of time for this video, guys. So I'm going to have to leave this here. I was hoping to get, like, an episode. Each episode of this, because it's done episodically, the game. I was hoping to be an episode of a video. Unfortunately, that has not come to fruition. So, sorry about that. But, um, I, I did have fun. My commentary wasn't great. I apologise to you guys again for that. Um, kind of learning stuff. I thought I got good at dodging. It proves, or it proved, I did not. Um, but I'm actually having fun. I have fun every time I come back to this bit, to like the nasty, more dark vibe and scenery. Um, and this, like this, this reminds me of the Spencer Mansion from Resident Evil One again, even though it's much more grandiose. Um, but yeah, when it comes back to the the proper horror aesthetic, I, I'm in love. But again, it does the sort of newer Resident Evil thing where it boots you back to a previous story or a more open environment or. A, or a nicer, sort of more modern environment, and I don't particularly like that. That's why I love number seven so much, because <clears throat> it doesn't do that. It keeps you frightened, or ish frightened, but keeps you like in the horror vibe the whole time. This doesn't really do that, but hey, for there are bits I am having fun. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I did enjoy playing this. Um, as always, I've been Lord Exus, and this has been Resident Evil Revelations. I will see you guys in the next video. In a bit.